my office is where I spend 80% of my time. So I need to make sure that it's a place where I feel comfortable and that it's effective for my type of business. I am an online coach, a graphic designer, and a content creator. So having an office that allows me to film great content and also do my work for hours is imperative. Welcome to my home office door. So let's start talking about my desk. This is an IKEA Linmon top with two Alex drawing units holding it. It is very spacious and it can hold my computer and a monitor. And it also has amazing drawers where I can store most of my tools for the office, like my stress relief oils, my post-it notes, my lip gloss because I need to be camera ready, and other office tools. It also has bottom drawers that hold a lot of space for equipment and boxes. In my second Alex drawer, I like to store my lens and my camera equipment. I keep extra memory cards in case my camera space runs out. I also use this remote control for my camera for extra support to film my videos and I keep lots of memory cards just in case. Whenever I want to film outside, I like to use the Pixel MK7 wireless mic and this is what it looks like. In my other drawers, I try my best to organize my cables so I don't lose them. Now let's talk about the power machine that runs it all. This is an NZXT H510 Elite case. The graphics card for this computer is the EVGA GeForce RTX 2080 Super Video, and I dare to say it's one of the best gaming cards in the industry. I use it mainly to edit videos and do different things at the same time, but I have to say that this is definitely a luxury. It has a Kcrin X62 CPU cooler system, and I absolutely love the design of this case. This case includes a very accessible USB port and a power button right on top of it. And this is as far as I go with my cable management skills. Here's a look at my monitor. This is the LG 34WK650, which is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor with an aspect ratio of 21 by 9. When it comes to playing games, editing videos, and having three tabs open at the same time, I find this to be my favorite monitor ever. The back of it is white and I added this LED light so the monitor stands out. On top of the monitor, I have my Logitech C920S HD Pro webcam with a privacy shutter. It's a streaming camera that shoots in 1080 pixels and I love using it whenever I'm doing my calls or even recording my course videos. Now on this side of the desk, I keep my GBL Pulse 4 Bluetooth speaker, which I love, and my Nebula Plasma Bowl. I have it for aesthetic purposes and also because it relaxes me a lot. Now this is my mechanical gaming keyboard. It's called the E-Element Z88. If you're a fan of loud noise when typing on your keyboard, then this is the one for you. I also have the HyperX Cloud Alpha headset. Now with this headset, I can achieve less distortion and more distinction in the audio and the noise cancellation microphone helps me rock all of my calls. It also has an amazing design, don't you think? For the mouse, I have the Razer Death Adder Essential Gaming Mouse. This one has five programmable buttons and also a great design. And for the mousepad, I have the Luxcom's Soft Gaming Mousepad in the large size. The speaker of my computer are the Go Group Sona Burst 02i speakers. I gotta protect my mousepad from liquid, so I have the Scup Coasters from Target. This compartment to hold my pens and accessories is also from Target. This lamp is also from Target. One of my missions in life is to build amazing friendships, so this is a reminder for me to do that. As you can see, I love post-it notes, and if you want to help me check this one out, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. This is what I use to record the audio of my videos, and my conference calls as well. This is the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, and it has an amazing design and also a boom stand that allows me to move it around the way I want. I also have a pegboard that I haven't started using yet. Just giving you a heads up that you might have to open some holes in the wall to build this one. It's supposed to hold cables and other tools. This is a Secret Lab Titan 2020 series Prime 2.0 PU leather chair. 
This is renowned for its ample space in addition to customization at the highest level. To give you greater comfort, support, reliability, and personalization, the new 2020 series features multiple improvements that will exceed the expectations of even the most discerning. Or at least that's what they say. <laughs> and yes, you can adjust it in any possible way. Now here is my second desk. I got it on Wayfair and this is my new favorite spot to record my YouTube videos because the sunlight hits directly on my face and having my first desk as the background of my videos is always nice. I have a world globe ball and a girl power figure in the corner. I'm not a Buddhist but I've had this since I was 12 and I am a big fan of soul lamps. I have the mini 8 Instax camera and some fake plants on this side. I have this lamp that I probably got at Target as well and this board which is also from Target. Now I will show you the friend who helped me make money and build businesses from day one. This is the HP Spectre X360, a touchscreen laptop, thin design with multiple battery ports and USB and a memory card ports. I have a regular foldable chair for this desk and I have a real plan on this side of the desk. In this desk, I keep my books, flowers, and a lamp, and behind that, I like to keep inside the clients that I need to reach out to every single week. This is one of my favorite parts of the office, my whiteboard. This is the Office Genius Large 60A by 30A magnetic whiteboard on wheels with a stand. It comes with all the accessories and it's super fun to use if you're into whiteboards. Also, subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video so far. I also need to show you this amazing scratch the world map and the camera that has been filming this entire video and also all of my recent videos on YouTube is the Sony A6400 mirrorless camera with a Sigma 16mm contemporary lens. For my studio lights, I use the Fovitech lights. They bring these cases and they have precision brightness and temperature control, which is very important for whenever I'm filming my videos. When it comes to the tripod, I like using this one by Amazon. It's ridiculously affordable and very easy to use as well. My first mirrorless camera was the Sony A6000, and this was my favorite one for pictures for a long time. This is the Julio Studio. I like to use this backdrop for my videos. I rarely use this, but when I do, it's because I usually need a portrait photo done. And this is my happy dance after showing you what my office looks like. I always tell my students that they do not need a fancy setup to start making money online. It's all in the discipline and the mindset. I have seen people building businesses from their phones, but having a setup like this one is always ideal. It took me years to acquire everything that's in the office, so if you want a cool gaming setup, you gotta be patient but never give up. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one, goodbye!